All right, boys and girls, welcome back to Master Our Media, and we just got spoilers for Dragon Ball Super episode 119 through 122. Thanks to Ken Zaro on Twitter for the translations. Let's jump right in. Dragon Ball Super episode 119, new casualty from Universe 7. Universe 4 makes their move. On the stage, Battle of Vegeta of Universe 7 and Kato Pesla of Universe 3 is about to settle, but right then, Kato Pesla suddenly loses his balance and falls off the stage. Furthermore, Vegeta and Gohan are tormented by something that they can't see and almost fall from the stage. Next, this invisible thing, who also cannot be traced by his key, attacks by surprise. His identity is discovered to be Gamasaurus, the invisible person from Universe 4, but 18 as a, is at a loss of ideas on how to fight this invisible enemy. Dragon Ball Super Episode 122, Perfect Survival Strategy, Deadly Assassins of Universe 3. Not Universe 4, Universe 3. Although Piccolo faces an accident and falls off the stage. What? Piccolo is f faces an accident and falls off the stage? Are you kidding me? Universe 7 warriors defeat the formidable invisible enemy. That's actually Universe 4, so maybe that's translation error. Gamasaurus and the bug human, Damam, which results in Universe 4 getting erased. So, Universe 4 gets erased in episode 120. Now, you know how we do it in Master Our Media? We talk, we read through all the spoilers, and then we dissect it and break it down afterwards. So, let's do that afterwards. Okay, so only Universe 3, 7, and 11 remain, though because of Jiren, Universe 11 is the toughest opponent. Universe 3 survival strategy of having the most warriors remain is successful. At last, it's time for Universe 3 to make their move. Koitsukai and his allies from Universe 4 begin their attack on Son Goku and his teammates. Okay, so obviously there's some translation errors here because it says Deadly Assassins of Universe 3. I think that means Universe 4, but it says Universe 4 is erased. So I think that this is Universe 3 Secret Warriors. I'm a little bit confused here. Episode 121, All Out War, Ultimate Four-Way Union vs. the entire Universe 7. Universe 3 warriors merge and go up against Goku and his teammates as the fight for survival between the two universes reaches its climax, but it looks like Universe 3 is still holding something. Oh, we totally gotta talk about that episode. And then this is the big one, Episode 122, Risking His Pride, Vegeta's Challenge to the Strong Longest. That has got to be Jiren. Okay, guys, boy, do we have a lot to talk about. Let's start dissecting all of these spoilers and break this down because, wow, there's so much going on here. Universes are getting obliterated. Does Vegeta challenge Jiren and Piccolo just falls off the edge because of an accident? Like, what? Okay, let's start with episode 119 and let's seriously dissect this and see what we can figure out. Okay, so it turns out that we actually got some different translations from Herms. So let's go through that. Let's skim through Universe 7 Vegeta and Universe 3 Kato Pesla. We saw them fighting and the preview for the next episode, Vegeta is going Super Saiyan and he's going after Kato Pesla. But it seems like obviously Vegeta is going to win this fight and he does. But then they get blindsided by Universe 4, the invisible Gamasaurus and his brother, these are the two invisible bugs that we have been seeing some images for, but we haven't seen them at all in the Tournament of Power. Now, there was supposed to be a sacrifice of Universe 7. Somebody in Universe 7 was supposed to get knocked out in this episode, but these spoilers do not say who that is. We know now in episode 120, Piccolo will accidentally fall off the edge, which is insanely disappointing, man. Like, come on. I mean, Piccolo, I love Love Piccolo. When are we going to make him a super Namekian god? When are we going to give him some spotlight? Turns out we're not going to get it in the Tournament of Power, which is some crap, all right? I'm sorry, but Piccolo needs some damn spotlight. He's just too integral of a member of Dragon Ball and the entire franchise to just make him fall out by accident. Super disappointing, but this doesn't really teach us too much more except for the fact that Kato Pesla is going to get eliminated by Vegeta, so let's move forward. Okay, episode 120, it talks about here, Piccolo accidentally falling from the arena. It can't be too much of an accident. Like, he's got to get hit somehow. 
and he doesn't he's not able to grab onto the edge or something i mean i don't know understand like that's crazy like so piccolo just falls off i mean he's he's pretty much the weakest uh next to 18 and so he and 18 have got to be the next ones to go but it doesn't really seem like that's a sacrifice so i'm not really sure about that but the episode title for 119 did change so i guess maybe they moved some storyboarding around or something like that okay but universe 4 gets erased gamasaurus and his brother damon they get eliminated i don't know if they're gonna fuse because the universe 4 katella the god of destruction said that that they can fuse or at least he said we don't need patara earrings for fusion so maybe they fuse really quickly but they still get knocked off it doesn't say who knocks them off but regardless we are down to three, ladies and gentlemen. Universe 3, 7, and 11 remain. Now, here is the most interesting thing about all of these spoilers, is that it says that Universe 3's survival strategy, leaving with them with the most warriors, is still remaining, is, is a winning strategy. They only have five people left. Now, does that mean that we're about to lose five characters on Universe 7? I mean, that would be insane. That means that we would have to be down to four because they have five left. They have the three robots, the big guy, and this, uh, I don't know, scientist looking dude with a staff. But everybody else has been knocked off. They've all been eliminated. So Universe 3 only has five people left, meaning that in episode 119 and 120, Universe 7 is going to lose five people. I mean, it's I, if we take a look back at the 119 preview, it looks like it's possibly Gohan 17 and 18. Piccolo is going to eliminate it. And I don't know who the next one would be, but something weird is going on here. Either these translations are incorrect or we're losing five people. But that is the biggest element of news out of these spoilers. And that's crazy. It's like we're getting down to the wire. So we're just going to knock off more than half, like 60% of Universe 7. That must be what the Universe 4 fighters have done in episode 119 and 120. It looks like it's going to be a crazy battle and very disappointing if that many people just get knocked out by some invisible bugs. That's going to suck, but I can't confirm any of that, but I mean, that's what it reads from these spoilers. Let's continue. Okay, episode 121, The All Out War. The ultimate four-way combination versus Universe 7's total offensive. As the Universe 3 warriors merge together and challenge Goku and company, the battle for survival between the two universes reaches the final stage. However, it seems like Universe 3 still has a trick up their sleeve. So it sounds like they they all fuse. I don't know what all five. I mean, one of them is like a scientist guy. He's not even robotic, right? But there's still four robots left. We know at least those three can definitely merge and combine into one super robot. I mean, if you look at these guys, they got like one arm, like one guy's the arms, one guy's the legs, one guy's the body and the head, right? So that's definitely coming. But it, so it says that even with their fusion, without the Patara, they still have something of other than that of their sleeve. Now, my question here is, what is Jiren doing? What is Topo and Dispo doing? Are they just sitting there and watching? And why is Universe 7? allowing them to do that. I guess they're under so much pressure from Universe 3 and 4 that they can't even touch Universe 11 at this point, which means that it looks like it's going to be well, you're going to have maybe one or two people from Universe 3, one of them being some massive fusion uh, versus all of Universe 7. Obviously, you know, our heroes are going to win, but that may result in even more knockouts and eliminations. It looks like Universe 7 is only going to have a few people left to try and take on Universe 11. So, I mean, we know Goku's got to take on Jiren, but episode 122, staking his pride, Vegeta challenges the strongest. Who is the strongest? It's big old boy Jiren over here. Vegeta is going to try and take on Jiren. Now, the age old question is Vegeta going to get Ultra Instinct? I mean, not, we're going to find out. Okay, now one super, super important piece of information here. You guys are going to absolutely love this if you don't know already. You remember Dragon Ball Super episode 114? You remember how amazing the art was, how it felt like classic Dragon Ball and everybody absolutely loved it? That was Yuya Takahashi and he is coming back for Dragon Ball Super episode 122 as Vegeta takes on Jiren. 
man, that is going to be the episode of a lifetime. I'm so pumped to see that. So not only are we gonna see Vegeta take on Jiren and possibly get Ultra Instinct, probably not, to be honest. If he is gonna get it, he's, he's probably gonna get seriously beat down first. But regardless, this fight between Vegeta and Jiren is going to be amazing art and animation. So I hope you guys are excited for that because I seriously am. So this opens up a lot of doors, a lot of questions, and a lot to talk about. And I will be breaking this down more and more this week because, and this weekend, especially after episode 119, because we could lose up to five fighters over the next two episodes from Universe 7. And that's crazy. I mean, they didn't say that in the spoilers, but they did say that Universe 3, who only has five fighters left, is in the lead with the survival tactic by having the most fighters remaining by the end of the time limit. So the only way that that's possible is if Universe 7 loses five people. And that's crazy. We're going to talk about that later in this week. So make sure you're subscribed with that notification bell enabled because there is going to be so much to break down and dissect, especially after this Saturday's episode. Thank you guys for stopping by for the spoilers today. And I'm going to have a major animation coming out tomorrow. It's 3 a.m. right now on Thursday, so Friday, guys, I'm going to have a parody animation. It's called Vegeta Gains Ultra Instinct, but make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell enabled so that you can catch that as soon as it's released. It's comical, but it's cool at the same time. You guys are going to love it. All right, thank you so much, fellas, and I'll be catching you Friday.